Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking, and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Hygdra's Union. So, we're up to our last chapter, where we're gonna see the ending to this game. The thing though, is that this game actually has three separate endings, so I'm gonna try to showcase them in this episode. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do all of them in one episode, but I might just go over time and do it anyway. Let's do this! Close up! We are somewhere... Justice lies with the Holy Sword. Though these words have been passed down in the kingdom for generations, all citizens of Paltina lived by them. Hydra was no exception, and the words had given her comfort during hard times, allowing her to draw strength from her misfortunes. Now the Runkian Empire had fallen, and only the kingdom of Fantasinia survived. Hydra stood alone in the Great Temple, Holy Sword in hand, hunted by Nesaya's last words. The island rose higher and higher, reaching the boundary between the earth and the skies. At last entering Heaven's Gate, a single ray of light showed down onto the southern region of the island. Heaven's Gate, Battlefield 48. Hey, what's that? Hydra, those wings! Is she an angel? Hmm. Defeat a uh, unknown person. Conditions of defeat if you lose up all your cards. So... Let's go ahead and try to recover some morale such as it is. And we can probably equip something to Yggdra while we're at it. So we've got higher power and that's about it really. An ancient sword with appearance signed all the ends of an era. Let's go ahead and equip that just in case. Oh, uh, we can use our recovery to help out Hygdra some. Uh, Melanor and Durant are mostly fine. Elena isn't doing so well, neither is uh, Rosary. I'm not sure who I should give the medallion to, but we'll see. I gave it to uh, Elena. We can use pretty much all the cards that we want. Steel, Bloody Claw, Shield Barrier, Crusade, Sanctuary, Banshee's Cry, Ace Guard, what else? Revolution, Chariot, Medusa's Eye, not sure we'll need movement here. Although having a few things to get rid of could be useful. I honestly don't know. Why not? Item break and poison breath. This sword has always been involved in wars. It's good for nothing but hatred, anger and suffering. I don't pretend to be psychic, princess. But I'm pretty sure you know what, you're do what we're doing, right? You'd have to. We're all thinking the same thing. You're right. So we've got a few uh, turns to kill. Send Hydra ahead. As we will Minonor. I forgot to check what were the objectives in this particular map. That's in our turn. I am Marietta, guardian angel of the realm of the gods. Okay, let's stop right here. You remember Saint Marietta, right? The Diocese. While the name isn't quite the same, I am inclined to believe that this is actually based on this character, Marietta. And she's actually a fixture in the Department Heaven series, which is uh, the, the game from which Hydra Union is coming from. She was involved, if I'm not mistaken, in Riviera the Promised Land, as well as Knights in the Nightmare. So yeah. That's actually a pretty neat thing for fans of the series, although I haven't played any other but this one. So, as I said... Why are you not led here by the fallen angel Nesaya? I forbid you to enter any further. Return to your world! Right, lady. We came to the island to defeat Nesaya. We have done so, and found ourselves here. That sword you carry. The Grand Centurio, the only sword that Nesaya created. 
That blade has been the cause of all strife on earth. Have you come to brandish such an evil weapon in heaven? Hmm. Hear the words of my lord. Draw thy blade for eternal sin, else lay thine edge to rest. Whether you heed my his words or disregard them, it is for you to decide, humans. Draw thy blade for eternal sin, else lay thine edge to rest. Hmm. Princess. Guard raised, Marietta prepared for battle. Conditions of victory, seal the Grand Centurio forever, move Hygdra to the Great Temple. Conditions of defeat if you use up all your cards. This is too big for us. Only you can decide this one. Yeah. So where is uh, putting it to rest? I suppose it's going to death for it all the way over there. There's also another option, which is to actually attack Marietta. But for this first ending that we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go back. And do this. Heaven's Gate, Great Sanctuary. Arrival! Draw thy blade for eternal sin, else lay thine edge to rest. Lay thine edge to rest. Ruling with a sword will only cause more strife. Lay thine edge to rest, I will seal the sword here. Princess! It's true that this sword contains absolute power. Because of that power, it has sparked countless wars, all of which the kingdom emerged from victorious. Over time, my family came to rely on this sword, but that only leads to history repeating itself. The sword offers only an illusion of justice. That makes sense based on Yggdra's character. Yggdra? The world without war you mentioned to me. The world Kalir wanted. A place where everyone can live in peace. That's a dream I share. To achieve it, I must break the chain of hatred. If this is what it takes to do so, then I gladly surrender my sword. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. If that's the way you feel, go for it. Melanor. Yggdra's no princess anymore, she's a true queen now. She chose what's best for the entire world. What she's trying to do, no king has ever accomplished. I kinda like it, I'm gonna stand by her and make it work. What about you all? I am a humble royal knight at your service, my queen. Niach will help too. A world without war. Huh, I'd better brush up on my healing spells then. No battles? I'd have to retire. Flan would like that. Cruz, finally! The, uh, the world my comrades yearn for. Uh, here's the thing though here. Uh, Niach is here, but supposedly the uh, item that she's looking for is actually on this island, the Transmigration. I'm not sure whether the item is hidden somewhere or whatever, or if they'll show it later. I just thought it was worth mentioning. Elena. My life is yours, I'll do anything you wish. Everybody. Thank you everyone, thank you Milanor. Well, it's about time to wrap this up. We've gotta begin immediately back on Earth, right? Yes. In the name of Lapsel. Oh holy sword, I lay thee down now and always. Rest eternally in this land. Seal. I commend your decision. To part with what you have relied so much upon. That is not a decision undertaken lightly. Your courage is a shining example for your kind. However, the land below is still in chaos. Merely wishing for peace will not make it so. Hmm. For that reason, I give you this. What is this? Hmm. So spake our lord. Nation shall be ruled not through might, but wisdom. This staff is there for that purpose. 
It will replace your holy sword, Queen Hydra. For one who has forsaken war, it is fitting too. Scepter of Wisdom. Thank you. I have seen a ray of hope in the land below. Whether it will flourish or fade away, I cannot foresee. It is in your hands, O oh Queen. Your ideals should be passed on for generations to come. Those of us in paradise shall never forget your courage. Yet, yeah, we must now part. This is not a place for the living. I shall return on Cardia to the bottom of the sea. Farewell, Queen Hydra and her brave followers. May your future be bright and filled with peace. May the gods bless you for all eternity. Since King Paltina's founding of the Kingdom of Fantasinia, the Holy Sword Grand Centurio has lit a path for the kingdom in the name of justice. At the close of the war with Branchia, Hydra, the 32nd monarch of Fantasinia, renounced all military force forever and sealed the Holy Sword in the Great Temple. She vowed never to allow war to give rise to any more sorrow and hatred. Acknowledging this, the guardian angel Marietta gave Hydra her scepter of wisdom, and Hydra swore to be driven by wisdom rather than power. A gentle breeze had begun to flow, bringing a new age of peace to Paltina. Thank. I can say I'm not proud right now, that's a heck of an accomplishment. As I've mentioned, this game is pretty freaking Nintendo hard, especially the original version, which has no easy mode. Of course, I've had some help from walkthroughs and previous Rift's experience, but heck, that's something I can be proud of. So yeah, the credits. Really great guys at, string, at Sting. Save succeeded. And we are done! There are a few things we can get from extra content, mostly by having certain items and things like that. I think they also show special characters, like here they seem to be showing various faces based on what they have. I'm not entirely sure what this shows though. We also have some things like the items, as you can see there are quite a bit of items in this game. I only touched part of it, I think I've got maybe half of them? A little less maybe, but that's a lot. If you're planning to fill it well, actually the only way to get those extra contents are the items that I've shown that you actually have to have in your inventory. Uh, the sound, so by getting the music box I actually got access to this. I'm missing two songs apparently. And the credits, of course. So now that this is done, let us hurry and have a look at the other endings. Now we're gonna do the ending where Galkasa actually wins and managed to get to the Abyss. So let's do this. Galkasa is gonna keep advancing. And we're gonna keep taking damage. Kalkasa, <laughs> the ritual is complete. King of our proud lineage, Bronga, Dragon of Purgatory. Hear me, awaken, suicide. No, we were too late. <laughs> Scion of the proud lineage, King of Kings, Bronga, Dragon of Purgatory, show the world your power. The mighty shall run the new order, the strong will rule. All the world shall be bound by this law. He who holds power creates the world in his image. <laughs> Awakening, we failed. The terror has awakened. That's the dragon of purgatory. Mother Paltina, I Calamity has befallen us. What tragedy, what horror! It has awakened Branga, the Dragon of Purgatory. The Age of Darkness is again upon this land. The entrance into Purgatory, the Abyss. 
With Hydra in pursuit, holy sword in hand, Galkasa, the Emperor of Carnage, used the last of his strength to drive his blade into his body and threw himself into the abyss. Galkasa's blazing will was released in the eternal depths, and the resulting ripple of chaos shook the dragon from its somber. It was the second advent of Bronga, the dragon of purgatory. Engulfed in Hellfire, human society burned to the ground. An age of darkness governed by absolute power had begun. Fine. So yeah, that's the Galkasa ending, alright. So about the same, they've saved it to prevent me to <laughs> do saves, but uh, I have a, w have a way around this. Okay, so for the extras of this particular video, there is something that I've actually mentioned or might be further in this video when I try out the alternate ending, but you know the Transmigra gem, the thing that Niach has been after the entire game, well, it turns out that it's actually on this map here, within this uh, square of water that is over here. Nameless Lake. Niach. Huh? There's something shiny here. Th this is... Discovery. Transmigra Gem. S sister Everyone! Niach finally found it! So yeah, and that's pretty much how Niach ended up saving the Undyne and making him uh, still alive during the events of Riviera, the Promised Land. Okay, so here we are attempting to accomplish the other ending, which is possibly the di most difficult one yet. We're gonna go ahead and send Rosary. And we'll move Hydra here. Let's end our turn. I repeat, beyond here lies the realm of the gods. I forbid you to enter any further. Return to your world. Heavenly powers. And now we have the unenviable task of actually attacking Mari uh, Marietta. So, we'll just go ahead and move our people as close as possible. So, the objective here is a little more difficult than it usually is, in that you have to survive about 10 fights with Marietta, which is extremely difficult. Do you defy our warnings? Then, I shall consider you an enemy of the gods. So. We'll move Hydra out of the way, so she can't uh, get us killed. Melanor and the others will be close. And we'll go ahead and attack her. She's gonna destroy us, but it doesn't matter. You look like a strong one. Your hubris is your undoing. Have some of this! Pitiable souls. You can see she's pretty darn impressive. Oh, great marionette of destruction, puppet master or something. Dullcraft will bring us the servant. Awaken to my call. Break out! Woo, golem, go for it! Bam! Hey, a shield. But that could potentially mean that we'll have a golem to use. Pitiable souls. How dare you defy the gods. Have some of this. I pity your greedy souls. Oh, well, that's not a lot. I expected her to have a lot more power. That works extremely well for us. Zero reset on Rosary. Slain. I can't... To point your blade at me is to defy the gods. Once marked as their enemy, there can be no turning back. Defying the angel, justice lies with the holy sword. Conditions of victory, with the holy swords, show your justice. Conditions of defeat, if everyone dies, and if you use up all your cards. 
Next! Next is gonna be Elena, who's gonna go get herself killed. Come on, dearie! You won't counter me! Can't counter! Let's go! Let Elena do what she does best for once. Praise Demon baited in Crimson Moonlight. Bloody Claw will burst power. Let fountains of blood rain from thy claws. Bam! Poosh! A shield. Unable to kill her immediately. A shame, but expected. Take this! Pitiable souls. Right, we're gonna sacrifice anyone to attempt to go to the land of the gods. Take this! Pitiable souls. I pity your greedy souls. Alas, I've even betrayed the gods. Zero reset for Elena. Slain. Brother, I'll be there soon. So, you guys have actually seen me uh, kinda attempt to take on Marietta with various degrees of success, and the reason for that is that it's actually impossible to take her out unless you follow a very specific pattern. So here we're gonna select Crusade, which is necessary, and what I did basically was actually attack her repeatedly with a large union of five characters. Elena was actually here before she managed to get herself killed, which is unfortunate, although I could have used the Tears of the Maiden to actually keep her up at least one turn, which is what I did with Rosary. I pretty what I did this time around was actually go back to the Golgasa mission with Aegina and the cannons where Basically, uh, I just used the right equipment and tried not to take any risk. This ended up with most of my character having pretty much maximum morale. And uh, now after about uh, 10 clashes with 5 units and Marietta, well, uh, Aigdra is now down from 9000 to about 2000 morale. However, Marietta, who first had a morale of uh, question marks, now has a morale of 1. The reason for this is that every clash reduces her morale, so as you uh, use a number of cards, then she'll get here to one, one of morale, which will make her vulnerable to crusade. So let's finish this. As you can see, she's kinda carrying herself weirdly, kinda like she's tired or something. That pretty much means that her AS shield is no longer available. So basically all you gotta do is uh, bring a Crusade to the max and wait for Igdra to be alone with her and just cast it. I've also seen her use uh, her special move Angelic Thunder on Elena. It wasn't pretty, although it was nothing special. Okay, let's do this! Divine Empress loved by the Phoenix Molminams! Crusade will bring us the miracle. Bring light to the darkness of chaos. Break out! <laughs> Bam. Angel fallen. Let light shine from above. And she is done. Gotta say that's one heck of an accomplishment. I mean, uh, I didn't do any retries in this game, meaning that I actually didn't try the maps with them being easier and dropping more medallion. So I'm actually pretty proud of this. So this is the sword's power. And we are done. You are quite strong to have defeated me. But your actions are a challenge against the heavens. You have chosen to turn your blade on the gods. That hubris shall be the end of your kind. Farewell, foolish humans. Divine judgment awaits you. Annihilation. 
She also drops an item, which is surprising. Igdra. Hmm. Princess. Was this the right thing to do? I feel like we've done something terrible. Justice lies with the Holy Sword, no matter what. The Grand Centurio has delivered our enemies to us. Hence, this is justice. That is the way of the kingdom. Well, yeah, <laughs> not sure about that, Hegra. This shall become the doctrine in the world I shall lead. Even the gods cannot escape from that truth. Nietzsche, but is this really how things should be? So yep, pretty much everyone showing hesitation. Even Elena, who's supposed to be dead. <laughs> the gods were the cause of it all in the first place. They stood idly by as Nesiah did with it what he pleased. His wars brought hatred, which in turn caused harm. If the Holy Sword's role is to smite those who bring harm, then we must slay those who are at the root of it all. No matter who they may be. Igdra. We will go forth under the aegis of the Holy Sword, to rid the heavens of those who allow arms to come to us. The advent of Ragnarok and Cardia, the Lost Paradise, continued to rise during the first battle with Nessiah, reacting the boundary between the realm of humans and that of the gods known as Heaven's Gate. The guardian angel Marietta flew down to deliver the words of the gods to the royal army. Hydra, who believed in the absolute justice of the Holy Sword which has served as a pillar of Fantasinia, responded by slaying her with the Grand Centurio. Violent thunder roared and lightning rent the clouds, the war had been carried to the heavens. A titanic clash between Hydra's forces and the gods, the great battle that came to be known as Ragnarok, was about to begin. Fine. And yeah. So that's it, they pretty much uh, went to the idea of Norse mythology where there is an event of Ragnarok where all of the gods die, basically. So yeah, that's pretty much symbolized the end of the world. So yeah, that's the end of this game. So yeah, I had a ton of fun playing this. The thing about Hydra Union is that I absolutely love it. I think it's a really innovative game, although it's freaking hard. <laughs> Which is also the reason why I hate it. You have maps pretty much designed to, uh, uh, how can I say, make the game pretty much based on attrition and the fact that you sometimes have to fight invincible enemies. Ugh. And freaking Galkasa. How could I forget freaking Galkasa? But yeah, so I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye!